you have a greater chance of surviving cancer if you find it early. If you determine the stage of cancer development, you can treat it better. In this video, you'll learn how oncologists determine stages of cancer 1 to 4. First, you learn about the purpose of cancer staging. Then, you discover ways doctors determine the stages of cancer. And finally, you find out how the oncologists grade the cancer stages. So let's start with the purpose of cancer staging. Cancer staging is a process of determining how much cancer is in the body and its location. Understanding the stage of cancer helps doctors to develop a prognosis and design a treatment plan for individual patients. Learn how serious your cancer is and your chances of survival. Describe where the cancer is, if or where it has spread, and whether it is affecting the other parts of the body. And predict the chance that cancer will come back after the original treatment. So how do doctors determine stages of cancer? Doctors collect data about cancer to determine its stage. This information comes from the various tests. Physical examination can provide clues about the extent of the cancer. The physical exam may determine the location and size of the tumor or tumors. Other things they look out for is if cancer has spread to the lymph nodes or other organs. Imaging tests such as X-rays, CT scans and MRI scans can show the location of the cancer. They reveal the size of the tumor and whether the cancer has spread. Laboratory tests from blood, urine and other fluids and tissues removed from the body can also reveal cancer. Pathology reports provide information about size, growth and type of cancer. The reports often confirm the diagnosis of cancer as well as the stage. Surgical reports from samples removed during surgery can reveal valuable information. They can determine the size and appearance of a tumor or lymph node and organ involvement. I'm now going to explain how oncologists create different stages of cancer with the TNM system. There are different types of staging systems. The most common and useful one for most types of cancer is the TNM system. The TNM system describes cancers that form solid tumor, such as breast, colon or lung cancers. However, doctors use other staging systems to classify other types of cancers, such as brain tumors, since they do not often spread outside the brain and spinal cord. Blood cancers such as leukemia, lymphoma or multiple myeloma do not form solid tumors, therefore they don't use the TNM system. Doctors determine most childhood cancers according to other staging systems. In the TNM system, each cancer has a letter or number to describe its spread. Tumor T. The letter T plus a number 0 to 4 describes the size and location of the tumor. It indicates how much the tumor has grown into nearby tissues. A larger tumor that grows deeper into the surrounding tissue receives a higher number. Some types of cancer have lowercase letters such as A, B or M for multiple added to the T. The extra letter provides more detail about the tumor. Tx means that you can't measure the tumor. T0 means there is no evidence of a primary tumor. Ts means that the cancer cells are only growing in the most superficial layer of tissue. Numbers after the T such as T1 to T4 describe the tumor size or the amount of spread into nearby structures. The higher the T number, the larger the tumor and the more it has grown into adjacent tissues. Node N, the letter N plus a number 0 to 3 describes whether you can find cancer in the lymph nodes. It may also describe how many of the lymph nodes contain cancer. So lymph nodes are tiny, bean-shaped organs that help fight infection. NX means that you can't evaluate the nearby lymph nodes. And 0 means nearby lymph nodes do not contain cancer. Numbers after the N, such as N1 to N3, describe the size, location or the number of lymph nodes affected by cancer. The higher the N number, the greater the cancer spread to nearby lymph nodes. Metastasis is M. The letter M indicates whether the cancer has metastasized or spread to other parts of the body. M0 means that the cancer has not spread. M1 indicates that cancer has spread. Most cancer types have their own version of this classification system. 
So letters and numbers don't always mean the same thing for every kind of cancer. For example, in some types of cancer, the T categories describe the size of the main tumor. In others, they represent how deep the tumor has grown into the organ it started in. Or they can indicate whether the tumor has grown into nearby structures. Doctors combine the TNM results to determine the stage of cancer 1 to 4 for each person. Most cancers have 4 stages. Some cancers also have a stage 0. This stage describes cancer in situ, which means in place. Stage 0 cancers live in the place they started and have not spread to nearby tissues. This stage of cancer is often curable. Stage 1 This is a small tumor that has not grown deep into nearby tissues. It also has not spread to the lymph nodes or other parts of the body. It is often called an early stage cancer. Stage 2 and 3 these stages indicate larger cancers or tumors that survive deeper into nearby tissue. They may also spread to lymph nodes but not to other parts of the body. Stage 4 This stage means that the cancer has reached other organs or parts of the body. Some call it advanced or metastatic cancer. Today you learned that cancer staging is a process of determining how much cancer is in the body and its location. Doctors do different tests such as physical examinations to determine stages of cancer. The TNM system is the most common grading system for cancer. TNM stands for tumor, nodes and metastasis. The letter T plus a number 0 to 4 describes the size and location of the tumor. N plus a number 0 to 3 explains whether you can find cancer in the lymph nodes. And M indicates whether the cancer has metastasized or spread to other parts of the body. Doctors combine the TNM results to determine the stage of cancer 1 to 4 for each person. I hope you learned a lot today and understand that if you determine the stage of cancer development, you can treat it better. Download a sheet sheet of this presentation. The links are in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, then press the like button and subscribe to this channel. Share this video on Facebook and Twitter to your families and friends. Please visit our blog at cancerwisdom.net to learn non-toxic ways to treat cancer. As a bonus for joining our newsletter, you get access to our free resource library. Download our free guides about diet, detox, emotional healing and more. Give a comment and we'll answer you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.